Hi, my name is Steve Houston, and this is Minnie here sitting on my lap in my office. Listen, I know most of you won't hang on to this video much more than four minutes, so I want to kind of get right to the point. Uh, and the point is, what are you doing this uh, on a Sunday afternoon? Are you doing what you want to do? Uh, I mean, I'm sitting around this afternoon, sitting in my office cleaning and, and rearranging some things. I get ready to go out to the driving range here in just a few minutes and bang around a few balls. And, and it occurred to me that, you know, as I tell our agents all the time, you got to keep in mind what you started this business for. And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be very difficult at certain times. Success is not easy. It never was, never will be. If it's, if it's easy, if you have uh, instant uh, good luck or good fortune, I would say it's luck. Because, you know, this is a business of numbers. And so no one comes in here as a, as a natural. No one comes in here. You might have natural sales ability, but there's a certain way to work this business. And certainly right now with this COVID-19 pandemic thing going on, we've all had to learn new tricks. We've all had to learn new ways of, of uh, you know, doing virtual sales. For so many years, we've been doing face-to-face, kneecap-to-kneecap. Listen, if you haven't subscribed before I get too far in the video, go ahead and do that. We're putting up new content once or twice a week. And here's the most important thing is hit that thumbs up button. The thumbs up to YouTube is everything. And I would ask for you uh, your help on that and be grateful if you gave me that thumbs up because that's how YouTube is, uh, they call it an algorithm, I guess, but that's how they're tracking uh, who's interested in the content we're putting up. And if no one's interested, they're not putting it up. And they're not sharing it out to other agents that could benefit from our content. And really, as you know, on this channel, uh, it's a no BS channel. Uh, you know, it's not, I'm not selling anything here. I'm not selling my training. Uh, I only train agents that join us. Um, and uh, we, you know, we, we provide our other training through this channel. So my one-on-one -on -one training and coaching and mentoring, case by case, day to day, step by step, paint by the numbers, that stuff is done uh, directly with me in my office. And we don't charge for that. I'm not selling anything is the point. So if you can learn something from the channel, uh, that's fantastic. Is it working? I don't know. Minnie, do you think it's working? Minnie, you think that's working? I don't know. Hey, if you're still here, I forgot to tell you about our Agent Success Academy. This group of people we work with every single week, they're gonna, look, the link is below. If you wanna become part of the, that group, it's free. You're gonna get me and Minnie, special training, tips and training, all kinds of stuff, no charge, it's free. Handouts you can use in your business. What else, Angela? Well, just, you know, learning doesn't end. And so being great at what you do, you have to constantly be putting, um, you know, new skills and sharpening your skills. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah, it may not be every week. It may be a little exaggeration. But we're going to be doing something up there. We'll put, that, put something up there. You're going to get on your email. Mm -hmm. Just things you can use in a business. For mortgage section and final expense, it's free. The link's in your description. Many approves, right? Bye-bye. Bye. So we gotta get out of here. You have to go. And I certainly hope that you can learn something from it. If you have any questions, you can certainly email me, text me, uh, or call me. My information is in the description of this video. But getting back, to, I was looking at our leaderboard here, and it just you, you gotta go, you gotta go down a couple hundred spots on a leaderboard to find anybody that's earning less than a couple thousand bucks a week. And I know so many people were could use to earn some extra money. I'm often perplexed, I guess, as to why more people don't see see the real potential. Uh, even my granddaughter, I was talking to her the other day, she goes, I don't, Papa, I don't really want to sell insurance. Well, okay, that's the vehicle, right? That's the vehicle that we use to build our lifestyles with, right? Uh, I love the insurance business, excuse me, I love life insurance business. I, I couldn't do PNC, I couldn't, you know, you know all that stuff doesn't interest me at all. I'm not real interested in annuities and, and the IUL stuff either. Uh, I like mortgage section, final expense sales. That's what I focus on primarily with working mortgage protection leads. So uh, that's me, but th that's not everybody. But why do I keep doing it? That's the question. Because there's been dark days and, and times where it's been a struggle for me as well uh, to, to keep going in this business. I remember when I first started out, I worked for New York Life. I got a cubicle, I got a phone book and some a stack of cards every day that I had to call on. And I was calling people to quit. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you talk about rejection. They'd already quit. My job was to try to get them back engaged and get them, get them to either keep the policy or sell them something new. Okay, so, um, you know, uh, no whining here about the, the lead programs. 
uh, because I think the lead programs are, are far better than, than uh, door knocking uh, and uh, or calling old case files. And if we got done with that, we had to pull out the phone book and start dialing out of the phone book. I mean, I don't even know if there's any phone books around. I guess there are in places now, but um, that's that was old school. So the lead program is a, is a, is a phone number and a name. Right, it's it's the permission to dial somebody. Uh, we have we own our own lead program, which is the number one thing that you want to have in looking for an IMO. Is do you own not do you have a lead program, but do you own your own lead program? Because they, a lot of these companies say, "Well, yeah, we got leads," but they're buying them from third party lead vendors, and they can't control the quantity or the quality of the lead because of that. So, look, here's the deal: we are able to earn three types of income here. Very, very high upfront commissions. You heard me talk about this before. Residual income. That's the reason why I stayed in this business when I started out at age 24, 25, was I wanted to own my life. I wanted to own my income. I wanted to, do, I wanted to get paid tomorrow on what I did today. And that's a real big secret right now. And, and, and many, over the years, I've talked to a lot of folks. That, some of you may be watching this video right now that tell you, oh, you know what? My wife wants me to get a job. Well, I need job security. Well, I just pulled up this morning that 26 million people are out of work right now. Historic, right? So what, what security is there in job security? There is none. Anytime that you, the federal government, you could lose your job or the federal government could shut down businesses and take your job away from you, you are not in control. I think a lot of people are beginning to realize that right now. So, uh, you know, I hope that rattled you to the core that you're, you know, you may think you have job security, but the job security you really want is the security you have in yourself. See, I can go grab myself some leads right here. I can grab, grab myself some leads here, pick up the phone, start making some dials, book myself an appointment, and I can get paid in a couple of days. Right? Did it last week. Made some calls on Thursday, did some virtual meetings on Friday. Process the, the policy got processed on Monday. I was paid on Tuesday, a thousand bucks. So that's security. Okay, so I want you to understand that. My mentor told me years ago, profits are better than wages. Wages will make you a living, but profits will make you a fortune. Anybody can get rich on profits. And that was Jim Rohn, by the way, a gentleman that's now passed away years ago. Um, powerful statement. And that's why I got in this business. I understood I wanted residual income and I wanted to own my income and own my life. I also had the, like the passive part of being able to build an agency. As long as you like people and you're willing to give to people, it's a business of inconvenience. Okay, you can't, if you don't like people or you don't want to be inconvenienced at nine o'clock at night when somebody needs help in the home, then do not build your own agency. I'm just giving that a heads up. You won't be successful in it. It is a business of inconvenience, right? So understand that. I was looking at our leaderboard here earlier and I, I had to go down well, I won't give you, I won't even give you the number. That's just suffice it to say there was several hundred spots to find anybody. Now it's Sunday afternoon about 2.30. Our, our week really starts at five o'clock on Fridays, right? It runs from, runs from Friday to Friday, essentially. Um, so uh, it's, it's barely been tw 24 hours since our month started, maybe 30 hours. And since Friday, Friday at five to Sunday at three. So whatever it is, okay? And there are already a lot of people a lot, I mean, more than a hundred, okay, that have earned already or submitted, let's just say, anywhere between uh, $300 to many thousands of dollars, okay, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars 30, 35, 40,000 dollars worth of APV in 36 hours. So you figured out at the 70% contracts, those guys that are producing that at that kind of level, at the high end, but they're doing 20,000 or 30,000 a month, they're not at 70%. They're not at, certainly not at 60% or less. Uh, they're probably at 100% or higher. They've already earned, you know, five, eight, 10,000 bucks for the week. And it's Sunday. It's Sunday. They get the whole week to go here yet. So listen, uh, do you have to love the insurance business to be to be to be successful in it? Probably not. I think it, if you, in order to be successful in a big way, you had to be you had to have a passion for for people and what we do, especially in the life insurance arena. Certainly not if you're if you're, if you're selling PNC and you're insuring someone's boat. But we do we work with families here. Um, here, so probably not. 
but you know, I, I think it helps if you if you understand, you know, if you have stories, if you know people that have passed away without life insurance and what it did to their family, I think that helps. Um, but listen, what is the work cycle? What do you got to do to do to be successful? First of all, you can't you you have to have a no quit attitude. Okay, uh, you can't come here uh, with zero dollars because I mean you can, but it's but you're swimming uphill. Uh, you can't work a lead program with no money. You can certainly work warm market. You don't have to work lead program. Uh, but again, you have to have a huge desire. You have to be coachable, right? And you have to be willing to do the work. You have to have a big work ethic. What's the work look like? Okay, first of all, you get leads, okay? You call each lead, right? Uh, you have a script in front of you. You schedule an appointment. You work up a proposal. You show up as scheduled. You can, you know, right? You uh, make a presentation, sell the policy, right? And uh, you complete the paperwork. And then you got to get that policy from submission to commission, uh, and then you rinse and repeat. So that's it. Can, you know, so how many times a week can you do that? How many? I mean, the, the beauty about the leads program is you can scale your income, right? You, if you're working with friends, family, and neighbors and referrals, you can't really scale that. It's going to be up and down, you know, depending on any given week. But if I know I can buy, you know, 20 leads a week, book 10 appointments, see six families, write three to five apps, that's a six-figure income. Uh, you see, go watch my 10-6-3 video. I'll try to remember to, to put it up here, okay? Go watch that and it kind of lays it out for you. And if you can do that, you can make multiple six figures a year by just increasing your activity. But if you're lazy, if you're not being successful where you're at, you keep jumping from job to job to job, and you're trying to find a get-rich-quick quick scheme, this is not it. Let me just put it out there right out there. This, this is not it. You're going to have to work harder, or at least early on here, to be successful. But man, does it pay dividends. After a couple of years, if you, even if you're an average agent, you're selling 20 policies a month. After a couple of years, you got several hundred of these things rolling over, paying you residually today what you did yesterday. That's the power of the business. And I know there's really no answer. It is what it is. Why do some people succeed in this industry and some people don't? I think a lot of it is to do with those three things. They're not coachable. They're not willing to do the work. And they don't have a burning desire to succeed. So as soon as the, the winds begin to blow, and they always will blow, especially if you're heading in the right direction, they tend to blow harder to try to, to push you off any kind of a track of success. Look, life is only going to give you what you're willing to accept. And if you're willing to accept being busted, if you're willing to accept quitting, being unemployed, work, you know, going, going from paycheck to paycheck and from job to job your entire life, retirement is going to be absolute hell because you've built nothing up in your lifetime. And that's why you have agents out there, such as our own agents, out there selling final expense insurance to people that didn't have any plans, didn't have a you know, real successful uh, life in terms of the income that they generated. They're broke now. They're senior citizens. And they want to make sure that their final expenses are, are, are paid for and they're shopping around for the $25 a month policy. That's why you have those kind of people, right? And so you don't want to be in that situation. And so that's the great thing about this business. If you think that 401ks and, your, and all that kind of stuff might, might save you, Social Security is not going to save you. You got to save yourself. So if you understand those kind of things, you've got a good work ethic, you have a b big burning desire to, to give yourself, your life, own your life, own your income. And if you have a family, give them a, a, a better than average Average lifestyle and you're coachable and you're willing to work with someone like myself that will work with you on every single case step by step paint by the numbers and teach you the success skills that you need to have to be successful in this business long term you got a shot you got a shot but here's what I'm looking for I'm looking for people that are successful already in life but just got kicked in a fanny they just lost a job or they were furloughed because of this whole uh, coronavirus thing. Okay, that's not the first time this is going to happen, but maybe it rocked your world to realize that, I okay, I make a lot of money, I'm very successful in my occupation, but I don't control anything. That's the, So in other words, successful but not satisfied. If that's you and you want, you want to be able to, uh, to learn a business and work with a coach or mentor, not somebody that's going to sign you up. Okay, you can sign up with anybody. If you're looking for somebody, that's, that, that if your priorities are, I gotta find me somebody that, that's, that's a friend of mine and that's local, I'm gonna sign up with that guy. Whether or not that guy's ever been successful in anything, he's with the right IMO or with an IMO and you wanna be buddied up with him, that's not the right choice. If you're making a major career move, I would seek out the person that you, that you feel like can help you the most, that has a time-tested and proven system that will be there for you before, 
during and after the sale to teach you. That's what changed my career in this business was having that kind of a coach and mentor. They would teach me a phone script, in-home presentation, everything I need to know about the business. And uh, and that's what, that's what I do. I don't charge for it. So why do most people struggle in the face of crisis? Well, Again, going back to this, this opportunity, some people uh, thrive in this industry, some people struggle. Why is that? Well, you know, why, why do some people become the exception? Again, I think it's those three things I talked about before. Uh, and then most people go back into default mode, which is their comfort zone, right? And whatever comes at them, whatever surrounds them, uh, that's what gets their attention. They tend to, to, oh, there's a squirrel, and, you know, and you can't keep them focused on any, anything for any length of time, right? Oh, there's no squirrel, right? And they're, and they're all over the place. And then the grass needs mowing. And, you know, you can't stay focused on a path uh, and stay in the lane, is my comment. I talk to Angela all the time. Just, you know, just, get, just stay in the lane. You know, those things will always be there. The grass will always be there. Might get a little high, and you can go out there and cut it later. But, but if success is important to you, you got to be able to stay focused, right? The biggest advice I give you today is do those things I already talked about. Focus on the activities and not the results. Way too many people focus on the results. They're going to get in here and they're going to make two or three calls. You know, they're going to buy a handful of leads. They're going to set themselves up for disaster because it's a law of large numbers, right? So you need a lot of leads. You don't need just a couple leads. You can't get, come in here with 10 bucks and hope to make yourself a thousand. It's not going to happen. You're learning. You got to be willing to be bad before you're good, right? So you just keep those things in mind and focus on the activities and not the results. Too many people come in there and focus. I've set 10 appointments. I met with four or five families and I didn't get nothing. Business sucks or it's not for me. Really? If your child tried to walk four or five times, would you slap them upside the head and tell them never do that again? You weren't born for walking? <laughs> Sometimes we, we just, you know, we just you start listening to your brain and you shouldn't go there, right? Get out of your head. Trust the process. Be, get numb to the process. It's not sexy. Learn the skills and you will succeed, okay? Focus on the activities, not the results. The results will come if you continue to focus on the activities. Why do I know that? Because I went down our leaderboard. Like I said, you have to go down several hundred spaces to find anybody this week already on 36 hours into the week that hasn't, you know, earned several thousand dollars. Look at the month. You got people making anywhere between nothing and making, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 a month. That's, you know, again, those are big numbers, but and it takes a lot of work. Those guys are, are those guys and girls have the qualities that I'm talking about right now. So if that's you, I recommend the industry. I hope that helps. Again, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, mash that thumbs up button, please. And leave me some comments. Uh, shoot me a text if you want to. And uh, let's chat. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Stay healthy.